South Africa has always been a land defined by its vast landscapes, rich cultural diversity, and dynamic history of transformation. From the rugged mountains of Limpopo to the bustling metropolis of Gauteng, the nation's story has been marked by the challenge of distance and the need for connectivity. The Limpopo Gauteng Speed Train, often described as one of the most ambitious transportation projects in the country's modern history, emerges as a solution to bridge these distances, creating faster mobility, stimulating development, and symbolizing a new era of technological advancement. To appreciate its significance, it is essential to first explore the historical journey of South Africa's railways, the origins of the project, and the vision that inspired its creation. Rail transport in South Africa traces back to the 19th century, when the first railway lines were laid to transport minerals and agricultural goods from inland regions to coastal ports. Limpopo, a province rich in resources and home to vast communities, often struggled with limited transport connectivity. Gauteng, on the other hand, has long been the beating heart of South Africa's economy, hosting Johannesburg, Pretoria, and the country's major financial hubs. Traditionally, the link between Limpopo and Gauteng was managed by highways and conventional trains, but increasing urbanization, rising traffic congestion, and the need for sustainable transport solutions created pressure for innovation. The Limpopo Gauteng Speed Train project was conceptualized in response to these challenges. Government planners, in collaboration with engineers, economists, and urban development experts, envisioned a high-speed railway that could cut travel time between the provinces to under two hours. Inspired partly by the success of the Gautrain rapid rail system between Johannesburg, Pretoria, and OR Tambo International Airport, the new line was designed on a larger scale, extending the philosophy of fast, safe, and modern transport into northern regions. Beyond transport efficiency, the vision carried deeper symbolic meaning. The train represents unity and integration, allowing people from rural Limpopo to connect more directly with the opportunities of Gauteng, while also enabling Gauteng residents to explore the cultural richness, tourism attractions, and natural beauty of Limpopo. The project was also framed as a driver of regional equality, ensuring that rural provinces do not remain isolated from the centers of economic growth. This ambitious project did not emerge overnight. Years of feasibility studies, environmental assessments, and stakeholder consultations preceded its announcement. International partners with expertise in high-speed rail, such as companies from China, Japan, and Europe, were invited to contribute technical know-how, while South African engineers ensured the project remained tailored to local needs. Culturally, the Limpopo Gauteng Speed Train was embraced as more than a transport solution, it was celebrated as a symbol of progress. It represented a break from the limitations of the past, where distance and slow infrastructure restricted economic and social potential. For many South Africans, particularly youth in Limpopo, the project became a metaphor for hope and mobility, literally and figuratively, providing a fast track toward opportunity. Economically, early projections suggested that the line would stimulate not only travel but also commerce. Businesses along the corridor anticipated increased customer flows, while agricultural producers in Limpopo expected quicker access to Gauteng markets. Tourism authorities envisioned a seamless link between Gauteng's international visitors and Limpopo's natural wonders, such as the Kruger National Park and Mapungubwe World Heritage Site. The expectation was that the speed train would not simply connect places, but create a new ecosystem of growth across multiple sectors. At the same time, the project sparked debates about cost, priorities, and accessibility. Critics questioned whether resources should be allocated to high-speed rail rather than basic services such as housing, healthcare, and education. Proponents countered that infrastructure is itself a foundation for development, and that modern transportation can lift entire communities by attracting investment, generating jobs, and fostering integration. This tension between immediate social needs and long-term strategic planning remains a common theme in South African development debates. The historical context also frames the Limpopo Gauteng speed train as part of South Africa's broader journey of modernization. Just as the early railways once connected mines, farms, and ports to fuel industrial growth, the new high-speed line is designed to connect people, ideas, and opportunities in the digital age. While the old railway system symbolized extraction and colonial industry, the new system symbolizes empowerment, equality, and national pride. Thus, the Limpopo Gauteng Speed Train begins as more than just a transportation project. It is a story of vision, history, and aspiration, one that promises to redefine the relationship between two vital provinces and, by extension, 
reshapes South Africa's national identity in the 21st century. The Limpopo Gauteng Speed Train is not just an idea of transport convenience but also a remarkable showcase of modern engineering and design. When the project was first envisioned, engineers faced one of the most pressing questions, how can a high-speed train, a system often seen in Europe, China, and Japan, be adapted to the unique geographical, cultural, and infrastructural realities of South Africa? The answer came in the form of a hybrid design philosophy, one that combined world-class rail technology with local innovation and sustainability. The train is designed to travel at speeds exceeding 250 km per hour, which dramatically reduces travel time between Gauteng and Limpopo. Previously, a road journey from Johannesburg to Pulokwane could take 5 to 6 hours depending on traffic, but the speed train brings that down to less than 2 hours, a transformation that redefines the perception of distance. Route and Stations The planned route stretches from Johannesburg in Gauteng to Pulokwane in Limpopo, with intermediate stops in Pretoria, Bella Bella, and Mokopane. Each station was carefully chosen to maximize accessibility and to stimulate growth in smaller towns along the corridor. Johannesburg's central station was designed to link with the GA train, creating a seamless transport network that integrates air, road, and rail. Pulokwane's terminal station, on the other hand, was envisioned as a gateway not only to Limpopo's provincial capital but also to the region's cultural and tourism attractions. Stations themselves are architectural landmarks. Inspired by African design aesthetics, they blend modern glass and steel structures with local art, traditional motifs, and green technologies such as solar power and rainwater harvesting. Each station is more than a transport hub, it serves as a community space, hosting retail outlets, cultural exhibitions, and public services. Engineering Challenges Building a high-speed line across varied South African terrain required innovative engineering. The route passes through mountains, rivers, and environmentally sensitive areas, each presenting unique challenges. Advanced tunneling methods were deployed to carve passages through rocky hills near Mokopane, while eco-bridges were constructed to allow wildlife to cross safely without disrupting the line. Environmental sustainability was not an afterthought but a core priority, ensuring that the train coexists harmoniously with the natural landscape. The tracks are built with continuous welded rail, minimizing noise and vibration, and designed to withstand the intense heat of South African summers. Safety systems include advanced signaling technologies, automatic train control, and earthquake-sensitive infrastructure, even though seismic risks are relatively low in the region. Rolling stock. The trains themselves are marvels of technology. Sleek, aerodynamic, and energy efficient, they are powered by electricity derived partly from renewable sources, aligning with South Africa's commitments to reducing carbon emissions. Interiors are designed for comfort, with spacious seating, Wi-Fi connectivity, charging ports, and panoramic windows offering stunning views of the countryside. Different classes of service, from economy to premium business, cater to diverse passenger needs, ensuring the system remains inclusive and affordable. Accessibility was another focus area. Coaches are wheelchair-friendly, with wide doors, accessible toilets, and tactile guidance paths for visually impaired passengers. The goal was to create not just a fast train but a people's train, welcoming to all members of society. Integration with other systems. Perhaps one of the most transformative aspects of the project is its integration with other forms of transport. The train links with Gauteng's bus rapid transit BRT systems, taxi ranks, and airports, making it part of a larger multimodal ecosystem. This ensures that passengers can travel smoothly from rural villages in Limpopo to international flights departing Johannesburg, all with minimal transfers. Symbolism in design. The design philosophy extended beyond function into symbolism. The color scheme of the trains reflects the South African flag, while interior artworks highlight Limpopo's cultural heritage, stone carvings, beadwork, and murals celebrating indigenous history. In this way, the train becomes not just a vessel of movement but also a moving museum, a cultural ambassador traveling at high speed. The engineering marvel of the Limpopo Gauteng Speed Train demonstrates that South Africa is not merely importing foreign ideas but is capable of adapting, innovating, and creating transport systems that respond to local realities. It stands as proof that modernity and tradition, technology and culture, efficiency and inclusivity, can coexist within one transformative project. Infrastructure projects of this magnitude inevitably reshape the societies they serve, and the Limpopo Gauteng Speed Train is no exception. Its impacts radiate far beyond faster travel, they extend into the very fabric of South Africa's economic, social, and cultural life. 
Economic growth. One of the immediate benefits is the stimulation of economic activity. By reducing travel time between Gauteng, the nation's financial hub, and Limpopo, a province known for agriculture, tourism, and mining, the train creates a seamless corridor of opportunity. Farmers in Limpopo gain quicker access to Gauteng markets, reducing spoilage and transportation costs. Businesses in Johannesburg and Pretoria find new investment prospects in northern towns. Puloquane, once seen as relatively remote, begins to emerge as an extension of Gauteng's metropolitan influence. The project also generated thousands of construction jobs during its development phase and continues to provide employment through operations, maintenance, and station services. Small businesses, from local catering suppliers to cleaning companies, benefit from the economic ripple effect of the train's presence. Tourism boost. Tourism. Authorities see the train as a game changer. International travelers landing in Johannesburg can now board the speed train and, within hours, find themselves at the gates of Kruger National Park, Mpungabwe World Heritage Site, or the Waterberg Biosphere. Limpopo's cultural festivals, traditional crafts, and natural wonders become more accessible to global audiences. Tour operators have begun designing packages that combine Gauteng's urban attractions with Limpopo's safari experiences, leveraging the train as a vital link. Urban development and real estate. The presence of speed train stations sparks urban renewal in surrounding areas. Bella Bella, once a quiet town, experiences growth in hotels, shopping centers, and residential developments catering to commuters. Polokwane undergoes modernization, positioning itself as a regional capital with improved infrastructure, offices, and universities. Property values along the corridor rise, attracting both investors and new residents. Social integration. The train plays a critical role in bridging the gap between rural and urban populations. Young people from Limpopo can now attend universities or pursue careers in Gauteng without losing touch with their families and communities. Conversely, urban dwellers can escape city stress with weekend getaways to Limpopo's natural landscapes. This movement fosters cultural exchange, reducing the sense of isolation historically experienced by rural provinces. Cultural identity. Beyond economics, the train strengthens South Africa's cultural identity. By physically linking diverse communities, it highlights the richness of the nation's heritage. Art displays in stations celebrate the work of local artists, while cultural festivals in Limpopo attract visitors from Gauteng who might never have otherwise engaged with those traditions. The speed train becomes a cultural bridge, deepening appreciation for South Africa's diversity. Challenges of equity, however, the project is not without challenges. Ticket prices remain a sensitive issue. While the government pledged to keep fares affordable, balancing affordability with financial sustainability is complex. If prices are too high, rural populations may be excluded, if too low, operational losses could undermine the system. Ensuring that the train remains accessible to ordinary South Africans is crucial for maintaining its social legitimacy. The economic and cultural impacts of the Limpopo Gauteng Speed Train illustrate that this project is more than infrastructure. It is a catalyst for growth, a connector of people, and a platform for redefining South Africa's identity in an increasingly globalized world. The Limpopo Gauteng Speed Train represents a vision of the future, but its journey is not complete. The project faces ongoing challenges while simultaneously opening new horizons for expansion, sustainability, and innovation. Future Expansion Plans One of the most exciting prospects is the potential extension of the high-speed network. Proposals suggest linking the line further north into Zimbabwe, creating an international rail corridor that could eventually connect Johannesburg to Harare. Another possibility is branching the system eastward toward Mpumalanga, linking Gauteng and Limpopo to the Kruger National Park with direct access. Such expansions would not only enhance regional integration but also position South Africa as a continental leader in modern transport. Environmental considerations. As with any large-scale infrastructure project, environmental sustainability remains a priority. High-speed trains are already more eco-friendly than airplanes or cars, but South Africa seeks to go further. Investments in renewable energy, particularly solar and wind power, are being explored to supply a significant portion of the train's electricity. This approach aligns with South Africa's broader climate commitments while also reducing dependence on coal-fired power stations. Economic sustainability. While construction created jobs, long-term success depends on consistent passenger demand and operational efficiency. Authorities are working to balance affordability with profitability.
Partnerships with private investors and tourism operators help diversify revenue streams, ensuring that the system does not rely solely on ticket sales. The inclusion of cargo services is also being considered, allowing perishable goods to move quickly between Limpopo farms and Gouting supermarkets. Social impact and inclusion. The speed train's future success will also be measured by its ability to remain inclusive. Educational programs are being developed to train South African youth in rail engineering, operations, and management, ensuring that the system is not just operated but also innovated by local talent. Accessibility for all, regardless of income, ability, or geography, remains central to the project's ethos. Geopolitical significance. On a larger scale, the Limpopo Gouting Speed Train signals South Africa's entry into the global community of nations pioneering high-speed rail. While countries such as China, Japan, and France have long been leaders in this field, South Africa stands out as one of the first African nations to adopt such advanced infrastructure. This enhances its status as a continental leader and strengthens its ability to attract foreign investment, tourism, and partnerships. Challenges ahead. Despite these opportunities, challenges remain. Political stability, funding constraints, and the need for continuous maintenance pose risks to long-term viability. Economic downturns could affect passenger numbers, while climate challenges such as droughts or floods could impact operations. Cybersecurity is another growing concern, as digital systems controlling the trains must be protected against potential threats. Conclusion The Limpopo Gouting Speed Train is more than steel rails and sleek carriages, it is a bold statement about South Africa's future. It demonstrates a willingness to invest in modernity, to bridge divides, and to dream big. From its historical context to its cutting-edge engineering, from its economic impacts to its cultural symbolism, the project embodies the spirit of a nation determined to connect, innovate, and thrive. As passengers board the train and watch the landscapes of Limpopo and Gouting fly past their windows, they are not merely traveling between provinces, they are traveling into a future where distance is no longer a barrier, where opportunity is within reach, and where South Africa redefines itself as a hub of progress, unity, and resilience. The Limpopo Gouting Speed Train, in essence, is not just about movement across space, it is about movement across time, carrying South Africa from the challenges of yesterday into the promises of tomorrow.